Hi friends, welcome to the shortcut series on DFT. In this class, we see how to find DFT in the shortest way. It's a part three, right? Okay. So here they ask, what is the DFT of x of n is equal to one, two, three, one, right? So we know how to find the shortcut for x of zero already. Simply, it is a summation of all samples. So it will give one plus two, three, three plus three, six plus one, seven. Okay. But all the Coefficients are having seven, so we get confusion. Then I told in a series two, shortcut series two, how to find the center coefficient. That can be obtained by summing up all the even coefficient. So one plus three, subtracting with the sum of odd coefficient. Two plus one, three. So it is four minus three, one. So we can neglect these two, but only these two are in the contention. Okay, so we have we have to find this. We have to find either of one of these question, but it will be a tedious process because we have to find all the four complex multiplication calculator and all. But still, we have a chance to find the answer in the shortest way. How can we find and how can we choose the answer? I told in series two uh, shortcut series two video. DFT has two coefficient. One is AC coefficient and the another one is DC coefficient. Right? X of zero is AC coefficient. Other than x of uh, zero, all the coefficients are AC coefficient, right? So where k varies from one to n minus one, right? So x uh, k zero means it is a DC coefficient. That's why I put here. So the one thing we have to remember is DC coefficient is having a highest magnitude. So the magnitude of DC coefficient should be greater in DFT, right? So here you see what is the magnitude of first option seven because it is a number just a magnitude seven, but we can see the magnitude of second uh, coefficient. What is the magnitude? Five squared plus six squared. That is six plus twenty five, sixty one. Surely it will be greater than seven. So this magnitude is greater than seven. But what about the magnitude four plus one five? This magnitude is root five. Root five is less than seven, right? Surely it is less than. Seven. So, who should be the answer? The answer must be option D, not C. It's uh, B. It's D. Okay. So, this is the simplest way to find the answer. Surely, this will not become answer. Similarly, also, if you even if you don't know this, you can find from here. This is not answer. Here also, it is not answer because all the things, are, all the coefficients are having magnitude. AC coefficients. Even if one coefficient has magnitude of greater than DC coefficient. That will not be an answer. So this is wrong. This is wrong. This is also wrong. This is the right option. Now the question arises: Why DC coefficient has maximum magnitude? That is well known. What is the DFT formula? X of k is equal to n is equal to is zero to n minus one x of n e power minus j two pi by n into n k. What is DC coefficient? K is zero. It gives DC coefficient. When you sum it up, n is equal to zero to n minus one x of n, right? So you see, this is having the mag uh, maximum magnitude, right? Here you see, when you put x of one, then complex multiplication and addition will come. So plus and minus surely will come, right? That complex will reduce the value. Surely this x of zero will be the highest value. Right. One more thing we have to remember is this DC coefficient is known as average value. Simply, it is sum, and if we don't put one by n, that will actually normalize. For if you normalize, you will have to put n one by n. That normally we do. So DC also known as average value. X of zero is known as DC value or average value. Right. I hope you understand everything clearly. If you are having any doubt, please ask me in comment section. Thank you.